Amen. As we say in your word, come and speak to us, O oh God. Come and move mountains. Come and slay giants. We want to see you move in our lives. And we want to see you move through us and in us. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, worship team. Thank you, everyone. Say, I bless you with 60 more years. Mkainti emiaka nkaga nga wori. Mulinyeria yesu. Because the Bible says that God will satisfy you with many years. Gwosoka kukuta, no to sibura, no teka yu. Hamina, ask your neighbor, okuse miaka, are you satisfied? Ask your neighbor, neighbor mubuze. So, after you've written, this is yours. But we are going to build it over time. So when you go home, get another piece of paper and write all your dreams. Boda ye kafuna yoru papuro lulala. Kuno soma konga bo wandi kakuruli o soma konga bo wandi kakuruli. O wandi kebi ro tobio bion na bion na bion na biewalioro se konja kola chinonja kola chinonja kola chinonja. Everything that you have ever dreamt about. Even if it's five full scups, you write. We'll do other things later. There are reasons and there are things that people misunderstand so that they do not plan. So many Christians, especially spirit-filled Christians, can only plan for tomorrow. They only plan for a short period of time. And there are some scriptures that are misread and misunderstood. And people read them and they want to claim that it's because of these scriptures that they do not plan well. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. We should also get someone to read for us in English. We normally have someone to read in Luganda, but as, you know, someone get ready to be reading. Okay, be careful for nothing. When you just read that, you think the Bible is telling you to be careless. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which pass, pass, passes or surpasses all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. People read the scripture and they say they should not plan because of that scripture. But this scripture is simply telling us not to worry, not to be stressed, not to be anxious over things that are going on. But in all things, we turn unto God and we pray. Matthew chapter 6 verse 25. Matthew chapter 6 verse 25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body. What you shall put on is not the little, uh, is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment. Verse 34. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereby. When the Bible says do not be anxious about tomorrow, the issue is anxiety. Do not stress over tomorrow. Because God will take care of you. But that does not stop you from planning. 
I want us to distinguish between planning and being anxious. Even after you write your 20-year plan, you should not have sleepless nights. Even when you write it and realize that you have a very huge deficit, do not, do not become stressed over that. James chapter 4. James chapter 4. Verse 13 to 15. Go to now ye that say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas you know not what shall be on tomorrow. Whereas you know not what shall be happening tomorrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth or appears for a little time and then vanishes. For that you ought to, to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this and do that. Here James is addressing those that want to be independent of God. And uh, your life is like a vapor. But then he's addressing people that want to gain independence or are independent of God. Turn with me to Luke chapter 14, verses 28 and 29. Luke chapter 14, verse 28 and 29. For which of you, intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it. List happily after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish it. All that behold it begin to mock him. Jesus is saying that if you're going to build anything, sit down and first count the cost. So Jesus is encouraging you to sit down and count the cost for the project that you're going to do. Now, 20 years is not a long time. This church is 20 years old. 20 years is just like yesterday. Now you begin to build, you look at 20 years, then you break it into two tens, then you break it into five. Five, five, five. Then you put landmarks within the next five years. Then you begin to pull the five into one. Then you look at tomorrow. Tomorrow. What are you going to do tomorrow that is building into your 20 years? Okay? 20 years from now. Amen? So Jesus is encouraging us. Genesis chapter 13, verse 14. And the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot had separated from him, lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I give you and your descendants forever. How did Abraham see the entire country? We say that when we are looking at vision, we look with our imagination. No one can see 420 kilometers and see a width of 125 kilometers. 
but he saw with his eyes and saw with his imagination as we defined vision. Go back and listen to the, to, to, to the sermons of the previous Sundays. As we defined vision, it has imagination, it has thinking, it has wisdom as you make a vision for your life. So friends, take your time. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. Then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. Write the vision. Tell your neighbor, write your vision. 20 years from now. You're going to look 20 years ahead and write. Write the vision and make it plain on tablets. Now for us, we are, use, we are not using tablets, but we have tablets now. Make it plain that he may run who reads it. Verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, 20 years ahead. But at the end, it will speak. Your vision will speak. Let me assume your vision is to use the other plot that you have on Bombo Road and build a market. Your vision will speak when that market is built and you show up and everyone sees the market master begin to talk to you like they are talking to a king. The vision will speak. The vision will speak. A time is coming when what you have as a dream it's going to be reality and it's going to be speaking. When in your village you have the best house and whoever wants to get direction, they tell them when you get to that house, actually that house belongs to Murokore. The vision will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, it's going to take some time. Wait for it, because it will surely come to pass. It will not tarry. Tell your neighbor you are going to make it. Gama muliranu orimu wanguzi, ero genda kuangula, ebiroto vyo, bija koto kirira. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, one time you're going to sleep in my guest wing. It will not tarry. It will come to pass. Now, I want us to see these few things as we close today. I want you to ask yourself, what kind of person will I be? What will be my character? What kind of person will I be? When you begin to own factories, will you be able to be an usher in church? Will you continue to sing in the worship team? Will you continue to be yourself? Oh, you will say, excuse me? Who are you talking to? Character. Money brings out who you are. So you had better deal with who you are now as the money comes. Because it's already coming. I'm going to serve you. When you go to Haggai Institute in Hawaii, the person that sponsors you they buy your ticket, your return ticket. They sponsor you with a minimum of $10,000. That person that sponsors you 
is the one that makes your bed for the one month that you're going to be there. Character. Deal with the character. What kind of character? Now, what accomplishments? The next 20 years, what do you want to have accomplished? Oyagala kubanga, bichibyo kozebyo tukiriza mumiaka abiria gaja. You you going you, you don't have to write right now but i want you to think along those lines as you as you, as you write this down what will you have accomplished what will you be doing if you're a government employee definitely you'll be retired but then you won't you won't be tired so what will you be doing I want you to think. I want you to sit down and wait upon God. I want you to, to find some time and lock yourself away from everything. I want us to ask ourselves, what am I enthusiastic about? What are those things? Those are things that you have to Areas that you have to look into. What have I always wanted to become? Most of you know my story. When I was in my P2 VAC, we got a neighbor coming in. I didn't know he was a fresh graduate from Macquarie University with a bachelor's in civil engineering, BSc. So we went to greet him. Eight years old. And he asked me, what do you want to become? I said, I don't know. He said, the best thing you can become is a civil engineer. And that drove me up to when I became a civil engineer. But for you, I ask you, what have you always wanted to become? What do I do best? With least effort. What comes so easy to you? With least effort. What is your imagination of the future? What is that that you constantly think about when it comes to the future? What has your education, what has my education and training equipped me for, prepared me for? Which one thing would I do that I know I could not, if I knew I could not fail? In your dreams, if you knew 100% that you're not going to fail, what is that one thing that you say, that one, I'm going to do it now that I'm sure that I will not fail. So there are so many here. We are going to go through them. We are going to look at uh, the personal relationship assessments. We are also going to look at our spiritual goals, ministry, family and relationships, health and fitness, health and fitness, education and development. Each one of you here, 20 years from now, I want you to continue to be fit. Twenty years from now. I want you to remain fit. We are working on the 20-year plan, 20-year development plan. Our governments have failed at their development plans, but you're not going to fail at yours. So I want us to begin. Do not rush. For the whole of this week, I would rather you only go through this and you do not write anything in it. You can write on any other piece of paper, but you do not write anything in it. Close your eyes right where you are. And see yourself at that age that you have written of 2044. Personally, I will be 75 then. Do not worry about me. 
My dad is 97 and he can walk from here to Kawempe on his own. So don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Whichever age you will be, I want you to see yourself there. Zividi za masogo, gate miaka abiri kumiaka jo, nga wakakona kulisi masa abiri, ne isita abiri, ne bathida abiri. I declare that you're not going to die in the name of Jesus. You will live. You will live. And you see yourself even 50 years from now in the name of Jesus. Raise both of those hands right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare your blessing upon your people. Let your mighty hand rest upon us, O oh God. Provide, O oh King of glory. I declare that those hands have the power to create wealth. In the name of Jesus, let them be hands that build. Those hands are going to build an empire for their owner. In the name of Jesus. And they're going to build people. And they're going to strengthen the weak. In the name of Jesus, I declare great thoughts. That everything you think about will be an idea from God that will solve problems. In the name of Jesus, let the glory of God shine upon you. And shine upon your path all the days of your lives. I declare there will be no accident in your life in the name of Jesus. You will never be in a wheelchair in the name of Jesus. But God will strengthen you and God will establish you. And the next 20 years are going to be years of greatness. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Nga wuri, nga wuri wamanyi, nga ukula akulana, nga imu siwa wuri kaseira. E viroto vionga vitu kirira, mori nyeri ya mkama wafi Yesu. Erech sachi ya mkama wafi Yesu Kristo, ukwagala kwa katonda, no kusechi moko mwe mtukufu, vena fefena, neri ya boluganda bona, emine mejita guwao, amina. 